What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a training guide on Gabriel, Gabriel Barbosa, who was a free campaign award. Now, this is the version of Gabriel Barbosa that I have. So we are going to be showing you a couple of different versions of him, right? And I've kind of focused a lot more on his dexterity and, of course, on that finishing as well. But I do think that there is multiple ways of training him. Having played with him a little bit, I think I should have probably given him a small bit more in dribbling. So I do think I have the ultimate version of him here, which we'll show you in a second. But for here, I mean, just having a quick review of the card... He is a very, very good player, lads. He doesn't have any additional skills that we've given him. But as a deep line forward, I do think that I kind of slipped up a bit. Um, even though he is a 94 overall, I don't think that he has kind of enough dribbling for like the position in, that I'm picking him up in, you know. Um, I think I gave him too much speed, which we'll show you in a second. Uh, because you don't really need speed for the position that we're going to be playing him in. Which I think is just kind of like... As a really deep centre forward, that comes, you know, close, um, that comes forward for the ball with your attacking midfielder, right? But he has got some nice player skills. Of course, you've got double touch, you've got first time shot, long range curler, dip and shot, heel trick and penalty specialist, as well as first time shot and heel trick. So, yeah, it's a fairly decent free card. Kind of similar to the Mbappe card that they released that was quite uh, decent as well, the French version of him, right? So we are over on eFootballDB, 34 levels on this card. These are two different versions of him. So the first uh, version of him we are going to look at is going to be an outright 90 finishing, 90 offensive awareness and 86 acceleration type player. Now he still has 85 balance, 81 ball control, but we are lacking a little bit with dribbling and tight possession, especially for the type of player that we're going to be using him. So I would say that if you are using a really fast kind of like uh, mobile center forward beside Barbosa, or if you are playing kind of the meta with a 4-3-3, such as Neymar and Messi up front, or Romanegi or Eto, if you've got, like, you know, you want your three attackers to be interchangeable, that you can play them in any position across the middle, and you're not going to really need to uh, sit on the ball too long. You know, you're not going to be dribbling too much if you've got Messi and Neymar beside him, or Romanegi or Eto. It is basically, you know, an Mbappe kind of version here that you're going to be looking for, that you're literally just going to get the ball and shoot the minute that you have it, right? So finishing 90, offensive awareness, he's going to pick up some incredible AI uh, positions here with his deep line forward, and I do think that he's a very good card, right? This is a very good version of him, but the version that I kind of went for is slightly different, and it's turning him into kind of like a Romario type player, right? Now, obviously, Romario is one of my favorite players in eFootball 2023, and he probably will be for eFootball 2024 as well. I've given him a load of additional stats, but this guy stacks up extremely similar to him in how he controls. And I have played about six, seven games with Gabriel Barbosa. He's actually unbelievable at just peeling away from the defender. He kind of plays like a little bit like a fox in the box. Obviously, with the gameplay changes they've made to V2.5, that's probably uh, overriding a little bit of the deep line forward play style a little bit. They'll probably have to balance that. But you've got 87 balance 88 acceleration 92 offensive awareness 87 ball control 85 tight possession and 86 finishing this is an extremely well-rounded uh card and obviously if you're going to be looking at somebody like this you do want somebody that can have an immediate impact whether you're starting him or you're playing him off the bench so that is how i would train him it is a decent card you've got a load of player skills you've got him on a rating this week slight concern that he's only on standard form but i wouldn't let that bother you too much it is a very decent card like if you are looking at comparable players like i genuinely would be thinking about romario as kind of the ultimate now there are going to be different versions of romario coming but even for the original version of romario that i got way back when um, there wasn't that many levels that you could go with him i think it was only seven levels that you could go and he was a fox in the box but even when you trained up romario a little bit um you did have a you will you will have a very similar kind of card here that you would have uh with this guy like this is the romario here if you're looking at it you know you've got similar kind of uh, offensive awareness obviously he's going to be at 90 or 88 or whatever it's going to be um the big thing between this romario that i had was obviously his team play style because you needed to train that up so with this gabriel card you don't need to do any of that you can simply just you know ignore the team play style with any of these special version of the card so I think 90 finishing, 90 def offensive awareness and 86 acceleration is very good for just like a score first uh, center forward that the minute you get the ball at your feet, you're having a pop or, you know, you're, you're taking a chance uh, with a shot or else if you are just trying to play him as a more of a complete center forward, I would definitely go with the second build. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back in a while. Hope you enjoyed the training guide. Peace.